have the right mindset. We need to understand that we're going to access these funds and this capital to do what? Build our platform. Build our team. There's going to be a couple different things we're going to need actual business funding for. What do you guys think those things are going to be? What are we going to use the business funding for? Working capital. Yep. Employees. But before employees and before working capital, what are we going to need it for? To develop our product or service, right? Because some of us don't even have a product or service because some of us are starting new. So the first thing we're going to need to use our business capital for is going to be what? To develop your product, which could be one of two things, a digital product or a physical product, right? Something you could sell in hand. If you're, not de if you're not developing a product, what are you going to develop? Maybe you're not selling an actual product. What are you going to sell? Service. Your service. So you have to develop your services. What, what do you think that means or that entails? It means you want to set up your systems from A to Z. When you get a new client, how do you intake that client? When you have this client, what's your go-to strategy on how to take care of the client? From when they enter and they just want to consult or a question or, or a question about your service to where you're going to convert them from just a lead to a paid client. That's going to be the number one thing we want to do with our business capital. So we can teach you guys the strategies today and we will go over them on how to access business funds and capital, but you need to understand what's going to be next after that, which is going to be what are we going to use the money for. You, let's say you have a physical product, you're going to want to what? Start searching for manufacturers, start figuring out how you can get it overseas, start figuring out how you can get it for a lot of lower dollar amount. A lot of you heard of Alibaba, something like that. To so start off, you can start with an Asian magic manufacturer to start off, and then build your way up until you're able to manufacture your own products. Or until you realize that that's a business for you, because you may start selling that product and not want to be in that business. What else is something else you're going to probably need working capital for? Um, and you guys all said the rest. So develop, <coughs> develop a team, right? If you're not going to develop a team, what else are you going to use the money for? Outsource your work. What else are you going to use business capital for? You have a product, you have they a team. A, they need a location. They may need that. They need a location at some point. Let's say they're starting at home. What else are they going to need for their product? Website. Equipment. To get, it, to get their product in front of people, right? So that's going to consume a what? Marketing. Building a brand, marketing. And this one's going to, the last one is going to depend on whether you're a full-time entrepreneur or a part-time entrepreneur. What's going to be the fifth thing you're going to use that money for? Right. you got to survive. So personal expenses or personal living. 